If you face a non-lethal threat, a less than lethal tool can be your best friend. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson. Today's lesson comes to us from Kansas City, Missouri, and it shows us an important lesson about the effective use of pepper spray against a non-lethal threat. We're gonna see here a security officer who's gonna act definitively to protect a customer, and in doing so, show us how effective a pepper spray can be at ending the conflict. I've sped this beginning part up a little bit, and what you can see here is a fight brewing. The two guys with their shirts off are drunk. I heard that from the security guard here who sent me this video. And the guy in the blue shirt actually is an employee of this convenience store. And the security guards here are actually contracted by the city of Kansas City because of the understaffed problems that um, the police department has. And he's trying to get some help here on his radio. You can see that. And now he's trying to kind of, you know, cool everything off. Use some verbal judo, get his hands in the air, get these guys to stop. But they're clearly agitated. And like I said, he said they were both very, very drunk. And you can see this one escalating quite a bit. It actually already got physical just a little bit earlier in the video. And now it's going to get a little bit more as he's going to get in his face. So then the guy in blue pushes and now the punches and everything are on. Now what's this officer to do? Is this a deadly force encounter? It's really not. But what you see is he's got his pepper spray in his right hand there. And when this and the last punch here comes, he's going to hose the first guy and the second guy. And that's just going to take the starch pretty much right out of him. We see the first guy is trying to run off and the second guy who got it is just totally discombobulated. And we're going to see the security guard here. He's going to try to get this guy in, you know, in custody. And then his buddy's going to come back and they're both going to run off. And this one's over. Now, thankfully here, nobody was hurt badly. The OC spray did a good job. Let's go back and learn some lessons here from this one, though. And I just want to see as we come into the frame, you can see that the security officer already has his pepper spray in hand. You can just see the red in his right hand there. And, you know, it's a good idea to have that pepper spray ready to go because for a less lethal or a non-lethal threat, you want to have it ready. A couple things I want to notice here. First of all, he's got friends here. They know him. He's known. Also notice he has a gun on his left hip there in a low ride holster. So it's not that the officer doesn't have have a deadly force multiplier, it's just that it is not an appropriate tool. Now what we're going to see here is these guys are highly agitated and we see the officer here trying to get his hands in the fight and trying to see what's going on and use his verbal skills and keep these guys at bay. Now you saw that first punch there that came in and the first touch was by one of the guys with his shirt off. So the conflict has escalated from verbal to physical at this point. Security guards trying to get some help on the way really, really wise and trying to keep things at bay. Hasn't really escalated to a bad situation yet but it's getting a little bit worse and a little bit heated. So I love how he gets his hands in the air there. That's that, you know, uh, open-handed posture, which says submission, which is trying to de-escalate the conflict, which is always the wisest thing to do. Now, it is worth talking about here is they're getting really close to one another. And, and now he's trying to step in there and keep them apart. And you ask, wait, was that, was that step there a big deal? Well, maybe. And you notice here that the officer gets that, that uh, pepper spray up. Was that a good time to pepper spray the first guy? Might have been, but he's going to choose not to in this instance to come back and deal with the budding conflict over here instead. Now, you can see these guys in this posture that they want to fight, and he doesn't want to have that problem, but he's got multiple potential attackers here. And the second that he has any problem with the first guy, pepper sprays him and now turns and gets the second guy because that's likely to escalate to a big conflict as well. Notice a little overspray on the guy in the blue shirt. You got to expect that and radically different outcomes with these two people. Remember, OC is great for a non-lethal threat, but it doesn't work 100% of the time. And I also notice when things go bad here and he might have to go to a, a different tool, he gets rid of that pepper spray, just tosses it. Did a good job there. At the end of the day, chaotic situation. I think that the security officer did a pretty darn good job, used his OC spray effectively, protected everybody around and covered his ass.